Hey guys! Hey! Welcome <laughs> back to our channel, you guys. We're so happy you're here. And before we get started, make sure you hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. At the time of filming this video, we are on our way road tripping to Destin, Florida. And we're going to be answering some crazy questions right now, aren't we, Abby? Yeah, we still wanted to make sure we were making videos for y'all, so we decided to film on our way. Yeah. And so today we're going to do a video called Asking My Husband Juicy Questions That Girls Are Too Afraid To Ask. And I had you guys put in some questions on Instagram that you thought I should ask Matt. And that should be a reminder because anytime we want to ask you guys questions, we're going to do that through our Instagrams. So if you haven't already followed both of us on Instagrams, we will link them right here in the bottom. And that way, if you miss those questions, you can be a part of the next round of questions next time we make a video like this one. Okay. We're going to be getting juicy today. So yeah, thank you for everyone that put a question in. We have some good ones. Okay, first question. Is it wrong for a girl to pursue a guy? Oh, I like that one. I like that question too. I would say no. I think there's nothing wrong with the girl pursuing a guy. I just feel like you got to find out what works with what you want. What do you think about that? I mean, you told me that you wouldn't have liked me if I came on to you. That's first. true. That is true. I do want to say that Abby did not come on to me first. And for me, I probably wouldn't have even asked her out if she would have been really pushy. She literally did not ever disclose that she had a crush on me for I also didn't like flirt years. with you. I didn't make an yeah. effort to be around you. Honestly took that that mystery of like, oh my gosh, does she like me for me to come on to you more and then end up asking you out. Maybe if Abby would have pursued me, we would have never even ended up dating. I don't even know. I have no idea what I would have done. You wanted to chase. That was just That's me in that so moment. interesting because guys always complain about girls playing games. But then you like the game. Guys like the game. Well, I, didn't, I didn't even know you were playing a game. I didn't I know there was a game. game. Ready for the next question? Ready for the next question. Okay, next question is, any first kiss tips? Ooh, any first kiss tips. <laughs> I feel like you're going to ask a guy or a girl this. Um, so, honest hour. I straight up watched so many YouTube videos before going on my first date with Abby because I legit did not know how to kiss and I really wanted to give her a kiss. And we just gave each other the simplest, sweetest, innocent kiss. And my heart was like, boom, 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 boom. It was our first kiss, like, with each other, but, like, also our first kiss. Like, I'd been dared to kiss. In general, for both of us. I had been dared to, like, kiss people in, like, truth or dare and stuff when I was, like, in middle school. I don't really count that. I'd never so been on a date. Tips? Never what's your tips? Been. But my tips would be, this is hilarious. Don't overthink it. I think, like, overthinking it can be something that really just gets in your head. Like, just... It's not going to be perfect. You're not going to be a master kisser right away. So just, you just kind of have to go for it. Are you a master kisser now? I'm a master kisser oh, now. We, we kissed wow. a lot. So now I'm, I guess I'm a master kisser. Yeah. You just want to be relaxed. And I know for Abby, she is always on me about my breath smelling bad, which I never get on her because I just don't care if her breath smells bad or not. But like wow. if someone's kissing you for the first time, you <laughs> might want to have that's um, a good tip. Freshly brushed fresh, teeth. Fresh breath. Use some mouthwash. Be gentle. Like, yeah. Be don't go aggressive on it. Be sweet. Just be sweet and gentle. Make it sweet. The kiss is an expression of your love, too. So it's not all about the kiss. What matters, too, is maybe how you play with her hair and oh. how you um, brush her hair to the side. And maybe what I did on you my put first your kiss. Fingers on I my saw chin. this on YouTube when I was watching YouTube videos. I like grabbed her chin and brought it up to my lips and was like, Mwah. can I do that right now? You watch it on a YouTube video? No. Matthew, I didn't know you did that because you saw a video. Yeah. <sighs> I was a weird kid, babe. <gasps> wow. Okay, next question is, do guys, oh, thank you. Do guys really judge girls based on their height? Oh, that's a good question. I guess to some extent, I actually at first was a little hesitant about Abby because of how short she is compared to me. I had never thought of myself dating a petite woman like Abby. I'm 6'2", she's 5'2", we're a foot difference in height. And I just quickly realized that the height didn't matter. I honestly started to really like that she was much shorter than me. And I feel like the same thing could go for a girl that's much taller, even taller than the guy she's dating. You move past that, you forget about like yeah. the height. And personally, I just fell in love with the the fact that she's a little lady. I think that's a good point to say, like, 
at first maybe the height like kind of threw you off you're like yeah. i don't know if i want but it's really but then like later it just like, your relationship becomes so much more than the superficial thing so it doesn't really matter later on short or tall it don't matter uh, what's the most attractive thing a girl could wear i just love it when abby wears sweet beautiful dresses like this like what she's wearing right now you like dresses that is like wow like i'm just like oh my gosh i love it when she wears dresses i've actually gone shopping with abby on purpose just to get to see her try on different dresses because i just love how beautiful she is and seeing her try on beautiful sweet dainty dresses so next question what do you really think if a girl has guy friends that's an interesting question abby never really had I, you had guy friends but not like you were never like, oh, this is my best friend and he's a guy. Yeah. Abby had quite a few guy friends and I didn't have a problem with that. There's nothing wrong with that. I think if she had a best friend that was a guy, that would have been maybe different. I'd been like, why are you best friends with this guy? And then we're together. I feel um, like the guy friends I had, like, they had been my friends for a while. Yeah. And then once you came around, you just kind of became friends when you were around them. Yeah, we became friends. So but I became like, friends with all of Abby's guy friends. I think it's just a situation to situation kind yeah. of deal but we all know there's girls and guys who are like best friends and if there's someone that's gay in that relationship, like that's that's different, but I guess like for people that are straight and they're best friends, you may want to recognize, okay, is that something that could? Yeah. Because if, if you were best friends with a straight man, I would kind of be like, I don't know if I really like that, that your best friend is this other dude. But for the most part, you're saying that's yeah, for the Yeah, you can be friends yeah. with guys, of course. Do guys want girls to give them more distance or be more clingy? Mm. Again, that is something that you just have to find out yourself. Um, Abby and I would FaceTime like an hour a day when we were in high school. And I guess some would probably categorize that as clingy because we would just always talk to each other. We were pretty clingy. But yeah, I guess we kind of were a little clingy. But we were just best friends and we just really enjoyed each other's company. So. What does the guy want? It just depends. Me, I really enjoy talking to Abby an hour or two every single day on FaceTime just because she was a fun person and a sweet person. She's super cute and funny and beautiful and all of the above. So I really enjoy talking to her. So for you an like hour. clingy? Do I like clingy? You like clingy. I just like normal. Like it's not like I, I don't want. I think people, I think other people would characterize that as clingy though. I guess you're right. Okay, Matt, I have. We might cut this one out. Okay. I don't think it's bad though, because I actually wanted to know this a lot okay. when I was younger. Um, does body hair down there matter? Oh. <laughs> this okay. This is getting really personal. <laughs> I personally like it both ways. For instance, like Abby's had her hair on her head long. She's had it short. She's dyed it, highlighted. She's gotten it now. She's basically blonde. I just think like the versatility is is cool. I think she's been beautiful in each and every way that she's done her hair, and I just think she's gorgeous. And so for me, I like that. I I like the versatility, but I think it's probably it's probably safe to when you're talking about like that sort of body here. Like for most guys, like well, what do you have guys talked about it with around? I you? feel like just maintaining your stuff. It goes for guys too. Like you want to maintain your body hair, just like you don't want to let your beard get all crazy. I get, I don't get a lot of facial hair, so I just have to maintain it. Have good hygiene. Just have good hygiene, but just making sure like you're taking care of yourself. But girls shouldn't be insecure if they no no aren't bare. Because I think I I like I like bare. I like you know a little bit whatever standing strip like whatever <laughs> do boys like when girls pay for themselves at restaurants that's interesting we like all of our dates i paid for you and i, I feel like i'm more old-fashioned i guess in the way that i feel the guy should pay for the girl when we first started dating you paid i, I did. don't know if i offered to pay. did i offer to pay you didn't offer to pay <laughs> no would it Which... would have been a good if i offered I think there's nothing wrong with offering. I think that's fine. So maybe it's a, it's better if I would have offered. You're also, though, I think me. there's something to say that like if you as the guy wanted to be the one to ask me on the date, then you have to be the one paying for it. Because if you ask yeah. them on a date and then it's like that's true. pay for yourself, that's kind of weird. That's like inviting someone over to dinner that's, and asking them yeah. to bring the meal. Okay, but would you be offended if you asked me on a date and I was like, hey, I'm paying for this? I feel like some guys would be like, sweet, I don't have to pay. Awesome. That would be you, actually. No, I, 
I would say no. Like early on, I'd say no. But if we're like, if we're six months in and you're like, I'm paying for this, I'm like, go right ahead, sweetie pie. <laughs> okay, then I'll pay for dinner tonight. Yes. We share the same thing. That's funny. The question about the hair down there, because like, I'm like, man, I I like it both ways. <laughs> Oh yeah, th that's a follow-up question to the hair one. It says, do boys oh. care about girls' hairy legs or hairy body in general? Um, girls, let me tell you, I'm a little hairy, so. Abby's a hairy person. <laughs> and Matt still no, likes me. Abby is always like, if she has like a slight amount of hair, she'll be like, no, no, you can't see it. And I'm like, Abby, yeah. like, you're my wife. I really don't care. I think you're beautiful. I um, don't like to let it get that And Abby bad. doesn't let it get I that get, bad. I get, I don't like it. Even in the, win even in the winter. Even in the winter time, no, she's I'm like, always shaving. And it's funny, like she's so on top of it. She'll be like, "Don't touch my leg; it has hair." And I'll be like, "No, it doesn't. Like I can feel like the slightest amount. You can't I even just, see it." I don't like but, it personally for myself. I don't like it, so that's why I do it. But Abby's on top of it, and personally, I think I, you I wouldn't do. like it if I grew out like my pits. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. So, I don't think I would like that. I think that that's just a personal thing. What's the first thing you notice in a girl? The first thing I notice in a girl is probably was their face. The second thing would maybe be your eyes. Like Abby has beautiful that's eyes. That's on my face. And that's very attractive. Yeah, your eyes are on your face. They're so like right you there. notice the eyes first. Okay, that's the first physical thing you notice. What's the first like personality thing you notice? I just, I catch on to character. I think I notice fairly quickly that Abby was a very sweet woman and a loving individual and she just treated people with love and kindness and she was very shy and quiet in the setting that I met her but I quickly found out that she is not a quiet and shy individual which is kind of crazy so I kind of got like a, a bonus right there because I freaking love Abby so much and she's so crazy and silly and fun and I was blessed to marry a woman like that. First thing I noticed for looks is teeth. I always look at a guy's smile and look what I got. The personality thing I notice is like confidence, but then also like, are they humble or are they an arrogant person? There's I you can have like confidence and not be an arrogant a hole. Okay. So don't do that. Don't be that person. But like, be confident in who you Some are. Some girls like that though. There are girls that do like the bad guys. That's true. But you don't want to be the confident a hole. But confidence is attractive. You're very right. You're very correct okay. in that assessment. Okay. How do you get a guy to like you? That's detail. A tough we can make a whole entire video on that. Um, what's like what first thing that comes to your mind though? You know, what's the saying? It's girls yeah, wear girls makeup. wear makeup to get or guys like what they see, so girls, girls wear makeup. Guy and girls, girls like, like what, what they, they hear, hear, so guys tell lies. Yeah, that's that, horrible. That sounds horrible, but it does have some truth in the fact that guys really do like what they see. So me, I just I saw this visually sweet. What the heck? This sweet, pretty woman who just bit my finger. <laughs> and that kind of caught my attention. Also, don't give yourself up. Don't sacrifice your integrity and your values for some guy. Uh, you want a guy that will love and respect you. There are guys out there that just... For all, who you are, not just yeah, for what you look yes. like. Yes. And there are guys out there that just want girls for their body or for, you know, just a one night stand and that's it. And you want a guy that truly just appreciates you and loves you and, and wants to pursue you because of who you are. This one's funny. Do guys tell each other they look hot? Like how girls tell other girls they're pretty. Guys say that as a joke, typically. Like I've heard guys are be like, dang, bro, you looking sexy. Or like just being, <laughs> just like maybe as a joke. I've heard that as a joke, but yeah, guys on trips be like, Wow, bro, you just look so hot right now. They just, keep a bro distance by compliment, yeah, like the haircut, they, the outfit, the yeah, shoes. Yeah, that no guy just straight up is like, bro, I, you just look so hot. You look so handsome right now. <laughs> right to your guy friend. You look so handsome. Most guys aren't like that. Like girls will genuinely um, tell their girls like, you look so pretty right now. Yeah, and it's not crossing the line. Yeah, maybe it's just different. Yeah. Did you just too? I did not too. Did you just too? Any tips on how to be less shy in a relationship? I think something that can really help get conversation going, like to get a connection going with somebody that you're interested in is just to know how to ask good questions and how to allow Ooh, your- that's good advice. Allow for your curiosity 
to create conversation. I think that's a good answer because, like, when you ask questions, then it's on the other person. Like, then they're talking. Yeah. And then you can kind of listen and go off of it. Even just, like, a general life tip is just know how to good, ask good questions because that helps you with relationships across the board. But especially when it comes to someone that you're interested in or somebody that you like, just to know how to bring up that conversation and get that initial ball rolling, you have to know how to ask questions and follow up questions. Okay, I like practical advice. What's well, like if you're on a date with somebody and you're feeling really shy and it's like silent for a little bit, which at the beginning of relationship silences are awkward. Oh yeah, don't be afraid to like just say the obvious. Like if you feel awkward, be like, I feel so awkward right now. It's okay just to be you and if there's someone that is so full of themselves that they just can't be okay with you being real, being a real human being, then that maybe that's not the right person for you. Okay guys, we just stopped doing a pit stop to get some food because we were super hungry on a road trip. Juicy question. What thoughts go through your head when Abby says that she's on her period? Abby's always been pretty open with me about all that stuff, which has been cool because I don't think it should be some like secretive thing. Yeah, it kind of fires me up when people think that. Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's really cool, actually. <laughs> Just how, like, the female body works. And kind of beautiful, too, in a way. I love you and I care about you. And so I, like, want to know what's going on. It shouldn't be some taboo thing. Yeah. Because every woman experiences it. I think you're dripping juice <gasps> on your purse right now. So careful with no! that. No! I got on the seat. Oh, no. This is bad. Okay. Next juicy question. Makeup or no makeup? Mmm, both. Abby looks so pretty with makeup on. And she looks so pretty without makeup on. So I like seeing her both ways. It's important to me. Last question, you guys. Last question. We're going to end it on a strong note. Mm. With a really juicy one. Okay. Why do some guys always believe that you have to lose your virginity before marriage? Mmm. I honestly really don't get that because knowing that I get to be with Abby who's never been intimate with anybody else, so that's like really special. I'm not saying if she had been there, I wouldn't have considered her because that's not true at all. I think maybe some guys, just because it's all they know, all they know is that everyone does that or just because of the environment or group that they run around with, everyone is doing those things. They just think that's like what is typical and they don't understand how you can avoid a lot of hurt and pain if you just push those things off until you're really in a committed long-term relationship like marriage. And so like, I always thought that was weird. It's like when people would shame weird. people for being virgins, it's like, that should be a bonus, right? Uh -huh. Like not saying if you're not, then that's like yeah. bad or like, you know, a red flag or anything, but it's saying like, hey, this is a bonus. Before we make too much of a mess, we gotta wrap this video up. Ooh. That was so bad. I heard if you stare at your elbows when you Ooh, high five, you Okay. Hey, we did it. Life hack. Cool, guys. Okay, so we're going to finish our burritos. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you. We hope those were some fun, juicy questions for you guys. Let Why us know. Why you finish your mouth before you? Oh, man. You're right. Thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your support. Make sure you hit the like button for the algorithm and subscribe. We've got so many more fun videos coming your way. We appreciate your support. You guys are the best. We love reading your comments and... We're just so blessed to have you as our family. So thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.